Hello chess lovers, Sonnen here and in today's video we are going to analyze the 6th game of 2023 World Chess Championship match using a supercomputer. Ding Liren opened up with d4 to which Nepo answered with knight f6, knight f3, d5, bishop f4. So Ding goes for the London system, I turned on, I switched to the opening tree in order we can see what are the most popular continuations in here. Uh, knight d2, c3, both were the top moves, c takes d4, c takes d4, bishop f5, again the top move, the opening tree is load, loading a little bit slowly, but okay, c3, e6, the main move again, so far nothing special, all this had been seen many times. And now bishop d6, again the top move, uh, an exchange on d6 followed, knight e5 was an alternative. Bishop d6 was the second move, right? Yes. So bishop takes d6, queen takes d6 and we have castling kingside, again the top move and we can see that Several times this position had been seen. Armenian chess grandmaster Aram Hakopian had it with the white pieces greeting to Aram and Gata Kamsky as well as a chess player who is unknown to me, Musat. Okay, white castled kingside. Let's see what's the top move in here. Black castled, yeah, again the top move. Rook e1, again the top move. Oh, so far we are following the... Oh, Gomsky has played this position so many times, so many times. H6. Was H6 the top move? I didn't see it. No, A6 is the... Uh, has been seen three times. Well, H6 only once. Anyways, H6 and Knight E5. Looks like that already with knight e5 we are making a novelty and before this Gata Kamsky had made a 4 move in 2020, that game he won. Okay, now let's turn to our stockfish and see what's going on. As you can see knight e5 is engine's first choice and holy moly we go beyond 1 million KNS speed. Knight goes back to e7. Ah, definitely, Nepo is also well prepared. And then this a4 lands. a4. a4 is not among Angie's choices. We have a4, so Ding decided to expand on the queen side. The bishop goes all the way to f1. Knight d7. Takes, takes. Ding is making the top moves, a5, queen c7, queen f3, again the top move. Ding, is, Ding sometimes plays so well, but in some positions, yeah, he makes strange decisions. One move can spoil his whole game, but all in all looks like that. He's playing okay, rook h3, rook h3 is not among Angie's choices, but looks interesting. Ding wants to bring his knight to c5 and put the rook on b3 and if needed he can also double up his rooks on the a file. Bishop g6 was among Angie's choices, right? Uh, knight b3 goes the logical continuation, knight c6, queen g3 and the offer of exchange of queens was rejected. h4, this time Ding is expanding on the queen side, king side. h4 popped up at some point and then it disappeared. Yeah, the third choice by supercomputer. H4, rook e8, rook e8. So according to Stockfish, better was, yeah, as you can see, going for an exchange. Nepo definitely regretted for not exchanging the queens. And now again, the engine says go to queen c7, but we have rook e8. I'm not sure, guys, maybe he wanted to win this position. No idea. And already we have almost one pawn advantage, e5. So yeah, he went for this e5 breakthrough, but there are some weaknesses in his camp. Rook b3. Uh, so 
Knight a5 came, rook takes e5, the knight is deflected, the pawn dropped, queen f6, rook a3, knight c4, and just bishop takes c4. He has a position which is very easy to play. First, h5. Engine says go to knight takes b7 straight away, but uh, we have h5, uh, bishop c2. So according to Stockfish, better is going for rook takes e5 and then queen d8. What is this move, guys? And so here, then check. Is there a perpetual? Yeah, and you can't play queen h3 because of this queen takes e5 and then queen takes c5. So instead of bishop uh, c2, you should go to you should make uh, you should go for an exchange of rooks on e5 and play queen d8. A missed chance by Nepal. Okay, we have bishop c2, knight takes b7, rook, queen b6, knight d6. You can't win it because check and the queen will drop. Rook takes e5, queen takes e5, queen takes b2, rook a5. Yeah, Nepal is already in trouble. This knight e8 is now a threat, uh, that's why Nepal played king h7. Rook c5, a dubious move, uh, not that strong as you can see. Better is protecting the pawn on c3 with queen e1. Yeah. And only then win this pawn, just... You can't capture because of this fork and white will win the rook. So we have rook c5 and a mutual blindness instead of queen takes c3. If here then bishop d3. We have uh, queen c1 check. Nepo decided not to give up this pawn but queen c1 is a mistake. And yeah, take a look at the evaluation. Queen takes c3 is almost equalizing while we have the worst possible move. It's not even among top suggestions. We have uh, queen c1 check, a terrific move. f6, a terrible move. f6, queen g3. a5, knight takes c4. a4. So that was uh, Nepal's last chance, right? Uh, queen, take, queen takes c3 was his last chance, but he decided to stick to the pawn on f7. Look how the evaluation changes. Rook g8, knight d5, knight f6 is now the threat. Black arm pinned the pawn, rook a7. Well, there are tons of ways to win. Let's see which one Ding chose. Knight e7, here, d5. This, so uh, in here on, Ding comes up with a very interesting idea. Uh, now you will see he's just tightening the loop around opponent's king. d5 looks very interesting. Now look. Meanwhile, a2 and queen c7. Now the threat is check, checkmate. That's why king h7 was made by Nepo. But anyways, knight g6, rook g8 and bank, queen f7. Now the threat is check. Let's make a random move. What to play? Okay, let's munch this. Then check is coming. And then checkmate. Now, can you understand the idea of playing this d5 move? In order to have control over e6 and going for this brilliant line. Yeah, that was amazing. So yeah, uh, after uh, queen f7 in here, resignation followed. A nice game by Dink. All in all, I liked it. Uh, at some point both players made mistakes. Yeah, where was it here? Yeah, in here. Ding played rook c5 instead of queen e1 and in return Nepo didn't capture on c3, played queen c1, the losing move after which already he lost the momentum and already there was just no way to save the game. So I hope that you enjoyed the game. The score is equal now and more games to come. I'm for Dink, guys. As you know, I'm for Dink and I really want Dink to become World Chess Champion. Although up to this point, his game is not that convincing as well as Nepos. They are making too many mistakes. 
uh, unlike for example the last several world chess championship matches we see too many mistakes in this match uh, anyways we'll see you in my next video take care and have a nice day